Wow, look at all of these. 32 cans of French sardines, most of which you can't get in America. Uh, you, you can get them if you go to France on a secret international smuggling uh, spy operation. But more realistically, you can, you know, make a deal with a distributor where you'll pay all the duties and taxes uh, and then you give them like an extra 100 bucks on top. That's, that's how I really got these. Uh, and I got here my invoice that I sent them. And we're just gonna go through this whole pile. I just want you to know what I've got, what to look forward to for the next, I don't know, 20, 30 videos. I'm just gonna go down the line here. Number one, this is the first one, creme de sardine au whiskey. This is the one that caught my eye first. Um, this is what this is what made me want to get some French stuff. Cause like, however whiskey is involved, I can't imagine it. Is there just like, is it just pate that's like blended with whiskey? That, I probably just answered it. Number two, sardines with rapeseed oil and orange. That is this one, La Perle. La Perle. Next we got sardines with chili and pickles. This is, this, see this is why I did this. Nowhere else are you gonna find sardines this weird. This one's got art, great art. That's the other thing is the art is outstanding on every single French can. Weird ingredients, crazy art. Papa John's, what else, what's up next? Sardines with pastis. What's that? We won't know until I open it a month or 10 from now. On this one, we've got some poker players or cards of some kind. Next is like, like a combo pack called the French sardines. Starts with the one I had already. Then it includes this one. That one's definitely in the pack. These were just basic. There wasn't anything about those. Those were just um, olive oil. I think, yeah, this one. These ones might be vintage. It says 1991 to 2011. I don't know. I don't know what that one is. Who knows, man. Through process of elimination, we'll find the rest later of the of the little pack. This was one of them. I already found another one. I think this one is just um, basic Evo Deans. This guy is next. Conservary Le Beloise. Conservary. That's a really nice one. That's an aesthetic one. That's got like an Art Deco feel, like a Bioshock feel. Um, next, we've got. Spices and aromatics, I think is what that means. What the spices and aromatics are, we won't know. We won't know for quite some time. Oh, this one's easy. I can tell you what this one is. Sardines are uh, two piments. Two peppers. There's gonna be two peppers in here. Two peppers. Sardines a la tapenade. I might crack this one open. I might see what's up. Or maybe I'll do the buckwheat. I gotta do something while I'm filming this. I gotta try one of them. Keep you interested. Next is sardines with three peppers. Ooh. Big, big jump. That's got a cool little little guy dancing with Deans. He's Dean dancing. Sardines marinated in white wine and herbs. Is there gonna be oil in here or is it just gonna be white wine? Oh, that's cool. I don't think there's any oil in here. I don't see oil on the on the ingredients. It says sardines and then, uh, yeah, right to white wine. If it's the second, if it's the second ingredient, I think that means we can safely say there's no oil. This next one's gonna blow your mind. I can't believe this exists. First of all, it's a little pornographic, okay? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, blur a little of this out. We've got a nice um, mermaid figure 
with a bagpipe and a seal with a hat. And guess what? It's in wasabi. Sardines in wasabi. That is, I should have got like six of those and sent them to everyone I know. Sardines with ginger. This is a similar scene. A lot of, uh, a lot of mermaids from this company. But instead of wasabi, we got ginger. Oil? Yeah, there's oil and oil. Both of these have oil and wasabi and ginger. Sardines, Royans with Rivagoat sauce. <laughs> See, some of this stuff is just cultural. Like, how could I possibly know what Rivagoat sauce is? Rivagote. Really aesthetic tin, though. Every one of these tins is beautiful. And this next one I know is vintage. I wonder how vintage you can really go and be safe about it, you know what I mean? Maybe a mouthful of sardines can tell me that. 2011, it says. I don't know if that means the Deans are from 2011, but I mean, I don't know what else that would mean. Oh, this one's awesome. Look at that. You kidding me? Look at the evil habanero. Extra, extra large habanero sardines. Gotta be careful with those ones. Sardines with figatelli uh, charcuterie. Does that mean there's gonna be figs in here? 70% sardines, 17% figatelli. Yeah, figatelli. Maybe you Google that one on your own. I don't know if I can help you <laughs> with that one. This one got cut off. Sardines with Bruce cheese. We got a nice little scene of, uh, looks like a teacher or a parent or something walking some kids fishing. Looks like a fun Sunday afternoon. 65% sardines, 6% Bruce. So there's gonna be cheese in here. That's uh, that's weird, but I'm in for it. I'm, I'm in to try it out. This brand actually I'm noticing is, the, is like the brand for weird stuff. This is a great scene. We've got a guy honking on a, what is that, a clarinet? He's, uh, he's enticing all those deans to just jump into the bag, jump into the basket without any uh, fishery going on. He's enchanting them. Oh, but what is it? It's lemon, garlic, salt, and parsley. I guess that's what, uh, that's what bastillaise means. This is an interesting one. Very little tin, very itty bitty tin. Look at the itty bittiness of this tin. This is just sardines and olive oil, but I think what we're working with is a single dude. One Dean in this tin. Is that worth the packaging? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's not carbon neutral. Sardine fillets without oil, Creole style. I should have moved these forever ago. Creole style, so these are, oh yeah, because French Creole. That makes sense. Oh, these have a shake to them. That makes me a little nervous. It does feel vacuum closed, but there's some air in there. <laughs> Sardines with buckwheat and butter. Yeah, dude, buckwheat and butter. Let's open these ones. You didn't think I was going to leave you hanging on, on taste testing, did you? I got some new bamboo sticks just because I really like the way they grip. Not really the camera angle you're used to, huh? It's like um, some fat I can kind of just scrape off. Oh, butter, that's what they call it. That's what it is. So these are buttery dudes. Buttery buckwheat dudes. There's like some, some solid stuff at the bottom. I guess that's what the buckwheat is. Trying to get a little on top. It's a nice looking guy. Looks a little sloppy, but what do you expect from a butter dean?
Yeah. Yeah, somehow I didn't know what to expect, but it's also what I expected, if that makes any sense. Oh, I can't get any of this Dean butter on my wife's cutting table thingy. Yeah, that, you know, that's a flavor I can't describe. Probably because I don't really know what buckwheat is. It's really good. It's buttery. It's, it's a savory, fatty fish. It's not fishy. Not even in a good way fishy. It's really not fishy at all. I really want some of this buckwheat on here. Here we go. This is the stuff. There was a deposit hiding in the back. Look at these big wheat kernels. Or whatever they are. Dude, I mean, that's killer. Ah! Got some butter on the table. These are very good. Really buttery. Maybe too buttery? There's no oil in here, it's straight butter. Straight butter and buckwheat balls. Let's have some buckwheat balls on their own. Yeah man, that's a buckwheat ball. There it goes. Lost it before we focused. That's a can you gotta be careful with though. That's buttery, dude. I mean, nobody needs to eat that much butter. That's like half a stick of butter in there. But that was really good. All right, sardines and olive oil, lemon, thyme, and Timmut pepper. I don't know what Timmut pepper is. Um. And you know what? I don't think any of you do either. So I don't feel bad about it. Sardines in olive oil. Pitto mayo sauce. Which looks like it's comprised of pepper, tomato, and garlic. Just based on the little drawings. On the tin there. And then by, by process of elimination. These two must have been a part of that, uh, that pack that I couldn't identify at the front and then this is the brand that we all already know this is the one we can get from rainbow tomatoes garden except this one that's part of that that pack too well this is that brand that everyone already knows um, I might have gotten special flavors and I think one of these you have to cook. I think one of these is raw. I think that's something you can do in France is, is can raw stuff and then expect people to cook it. Anyway, that's probably wrong information. Um, yeah, so there's all the 30 or so cans I got from France. Uh, so basically that's my next like 20 something videos. So strap in. And, um, I don't know. Take it easy. Hey, so check it out. If you made it this far, that means you're weird. And if you're weird, you might find something cool at my new website, slowjabroni.com. There's a pretty nice bumper sticker, and it's flying off the shelves like hotcakes. So get one. I love you. Mwah.